97's chief meteorologist, Doug Hill. Proud to be on your side. From ABC 7 News, proud to be on your side. Good morning, Washington. You are taking a live look at Dulles International Airport on this Tuesday morning. It's good to be with you. It is now 6 o'clock, September 11th. I'm Don Hudson. I'm Carol Costello. You might want to grab a sweater. It's kind of chilly outside. No humidity, Alexandra. No humidity. That cold front that caused really just a mess at all our local airports yesterday, triggering off those showers and thunderstorms yesterday afternoon and evening. That was the downside. Today, we're kind of relishing in the upside, which is clear skies, low humidity, and really a very pleasant start. But do grab an umbrella. Not an umbrella. Do grab a sweater this morning. Here's your forecast for this afternoon. Mostly sunny and comfortably pleasant and dry. 75 at lunchtime and an 81 degree high this afternoon. I'll have your extended forecast one day with rain. I'll tell you which day that rain will fall on in 10 minutes. But first, let's get a check on the roads. Hey, Mickey. Good morning, Alexandra. Not too bad. Traveling in Virginia on 66 eastbound, headed all the way towards the Roosevelt Bridge. Let me take you there live. How you look making your way on towards Constitution Avenue. As you can see, very light volume. No accidents to report on this stretch of the roadway. Now let me take you on the north side of town in Montgomery County. Traveling from the outer loop of the Beltway to northbound 270. Once you reach Old Georgetown Road, you're going to find construction right after this picture over in the left lane. It's blocking the left lane. Stay to the right getting by, making your way northbound on 270. Let's go back to you. Thanks for the advice, Mickey. Time for the news this morning. The big question, is Michael Jordan going to exchange his suit and tie for a Wizards basketball jersey? On Monday, he was asked if he was definitely coming back. He smiled and said, I'm doing it for the love of the game, nothing else. Not a direct answer. He also added, the world will know for sure within the next nine days. ABC 7 News reporter Nancy Weiner joins us now live with more on what is now really the talk of the town. Nancy? That's right, Don. Michael Jordan does certainly seem to be inching closer and closer to announcing that he will return to the world of professional basketball, this time wearing a Washington Wizards jersey. And this is certainly causing a big stir here in Washington. We're here at Bob and Edith's Diner in Arlington. And Steve Williams says he's a big fan of basketball, not necessarily a fan of the Wizards. But is this going to change that for you? Well, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but um, I know for a fact that Michael Jordan is going to bring in some tickets. Uh, fans are going to start supporting the Wizards, but overall, I don't think it's really going to make that big of a difference for the Wizards because of the fact that, um, you know, because you have a lot of young players coming in and, you know, bad draft choices and things of that nature. But overall, it's, it's going to, you know, the fan base is going to be there. and. Um, Overall, it's going to be good for the team, but I don't think Jordan's going to really make a big impact on the Wizards. Do you think he could have made a bigger difference as an owner than as a player? Um, yes, I think he would have made a bigger difference as, um, you know, being part of the, you know, owning the team and stuff. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to head down here and talk to Mike Romick. He's from Arlington, just getting off the night shift. Mike, you also say you're a basketball player. What do you think? Do you think that this move is going to bring a lot more people into the Wizards fan camp? Yeah, I think if Jordan came back that he would be able to show people that just because you retire doesn't mean you can't come back and be number one, you know, even since he's 38 years old now, he's been through a lot. That still doesn't mean that he can't come back and bring, and bring people back to the game. You know? So you think he's still got game? I think he's still got game. He always was number one, and I think he always will be number one. Mike, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. We'll give you a little heads up that there are still 8,000 season tickets left, although they will certainly start going quickly. And here is a small tip. The number to call if you want to get those season tickets, we have it for you right here, 202-661-5050. They will certainly be going fast. Reporting live from Bob and Edith in Arlington, I'm Nancy Weiner, ABC 7 News. All right, Nancy, I think I need to let you go because I need to go make a phone call. <laughs> they don't open <laughs> till 9. Okay. All right. Thank you, Nancy. It's exciting to think about, though, don't you think? In other news, a flight attendant's claim Congressman Gary Condit obstructed justice by trying to get her to sign a false affidavit has been rejected by a grand jury. Anne Marie Smith filed the complaint in Condit's home district after she said the congressman asked her to say they never had an affair. Smith's lawyer says the grand jury took no action because they say the complaint was filed in the wrong jurisdiction. Actually, very uh, excited that they turned us down on the on the issue that they they chose to turn us down on because it's easily brushed aside with with uh, the facts and the law on subject matter jurisdiction. 
In the meantime, a California political ally of Condit is reportedly eyeing a bid for his congressional seat. Assemblyman Dennis Cardoza has said he wouldn't run unless Condit bows out. In other political news today, Elizabeth Dole is expected to enter the race for U.S. Senate. Dole will make the announcement in her hometown of Salisbury, North Carolina. 65-year-old Republican hasn't lived in that state for decades, but she moved her designation there after Jesse Helms said he would not be seeking a sixth term in office. Dole has served as secretaries of the Labor and Transportation Departments, and she also headed the Red Cross. Now, on the political front in Virginia, it appears that the Democratic candidate for governor is in the lead. In the latest ABC 7 News tracking poll, Virginia residents would vote 52% for Mark Warner, 44% for Mark Early if the election were held today. We will continue tracking the race for Virginia's governor and bring you those poll results up until Election Day. Question for you this morning. Would you mind paying an extra penny on the dollar if you were guaranteed the extra revenue would improve the roads and schools in your own community? Well, that's the idea behind a proposal in Northern Virginia. Business leaders have suggested raising the sales tax one penny to help keep up with growth. The, the roads are the most important for transportation. It's all congested now. We've got to get that cleared up. And for the schools, I think our education is the most important thing we can work on. I think it's going to burden uh, on people and business for short, uh, in the short term. But I think in the long run, I think it's going to kind of, uh, you know, benefit the county. And the polls show more northern Virginians are supportive of a sales tax increase. It will be up to state legislators, of course, to decide if voters will get a say in a referendum. For the first time ever, Montgomery County is considering a development tax. It could raise up to $6 million a year for road projects, expansion of mass transit, and other services to get drivers off of the roads. The tax is meant to loosen restrictions on growth around metro stops and discourage growth elsewhere. Let's talk sports once again. The Denver Broncos played their first game at the new Invesco Field at Mile High Stadium. They won last night, but they sure lost an important player for the season. Receiver Ed McCaffrey will have season-ending surgery after breaking his leg in, the, uh, oh, in this play in the third quarter against the New York Giants. Broncos quarterback Brian Greasy was 21 for 29 with 330 yards passing and three TDs in the 31 to 20 win. Time for weather and traffic now on the 7th. Good morning. It is 6.07. Clear skies. 64 here in Washington. Heard from Potomac. One of my weather watchers, Brian Teresi. Thanks for the email, Brian. 65 there. So a chilly morning. It's anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees cooler this morning than where we were at this time yesterday. Under clear skies, much less humid because of the passage of that cold front last night. Northwesterly winds will be quite breezy later today. But do expect a very pleasant day. Clear, crystal clear blue skies. Plenty of sunshine. And 81 will do it for afternoon high temperature. Let's get a check on the roads now with Mickey Scarlatta. How are things taking shape, Mickey? Actually, they're not too bad so far on this early Tuesday morning. Let me take you live to Montgomery County and show you a live picture how we look. Rockville Pike at that intersection with 28. So you can see lots of lights. <laughs> Looks very pretty, but not much traffic going on, which is good news. Now let me take you around the Beltway in Virginia near Van Doren Street in Springfield. Not too bad over here, but if you're traveling in Springfield, northbound 95, actually near the Prince William Parkway, we do have a disabled truck in the center of the roadway. Stay to the left and right to get by over there. Carol Don. Let's we will. Back to you. Thank you, Mickey. Uh -huh. 608, 64 degrees. When Good Morning Washington returns, a Pennsylvania man accused of stealing dinosaur fossils out in Utah and selling them out in Japan speaks out. Also ahead, it's an unexpected timeout when a soccer match turns into a soccer melee. And a little monkey business has caused a small New England community to go ape. We'll explain. You're watching ABC 7's Good Morning Washington with Carol Costello, Don Hudson, and meteorologist Alexandra Steele with live Super Doppler 7. Good Morning Washington. Dust off your chopsticks because it's Orient Escape Week on Wheel of Fortune. All this week, Wheel of Fortune is taking you on an enchanting escape to the mystical Orient. We're stuffing our fortune cookies with trips to the Far East and exotic cars. Every day this week, contestants will be spinning the wheel for cash, prizes, and trips to the Orient. I'm so excited I'm having my kimono dry clean. All this week at 7 on Washington's ABC 7. 
Today, cable companies like AT&T control over 70% of high-speed internet connections because they compete under different rules than phone companies. Unless Congress acts, millions will be left behind or with only one choice, their cable company. Now a study says a delay in high-speed internet rollout could cost our economy $500 billion. Tozan Dingle guarantees access to inner cities and small towns and would add billions to our economy. It's time for real competition. Pass Tozan Dingle. With Weight Watchers, every food has a points value. And now every point works harder than ever. Introducing Winning Points, the way to stay satisfied, eat what you like and still stay within your daily points range. So you stick with it and lose. Now, take it off and show it off. Enter Weight Watchers Take It Off, Show It Off sweepstakes. Win a fabulous new $10,000 wardrobe. Now's the time to join Weight Watchers. For pricing and location information, call 301-770-4115. Looking for home furnishing of exceptional value and quality? Then come to Gallahan's and see a wide selection of the area's finest furniture, all at 30 to 50% off every day. Discover the unique shopping experience of Gallahan's. And right now, receive up to $1,000 back on Century Savoy. From traditional to transitional, Gallahan's is your complete home furnishing destination. Take I-95 south to Fredericksburg, Virginia. Come for the selection, buy for the discounts. Key location, dramatic design, shopping, fine dining, and the best of Tyson's within walking distance. Coming soon, Towers Crescent, the new downtown of Tyson's Corner. You're going to like it as you step out the door this morning as we take a live look at the Jefferson Memorial. It's 64 degrees, no humidity at 6-11 this morning. California's governor has declared a state of emergency in Calaveras County where a wildfire has damaged a water system. No one is without water, but it could take three months to get the taps back to normal. In the meantime, another wildfire in California has destroyed 26 homes and is threatening 850 other structures. 400 residents returned home yesterday, but if the flames spread, they may have to evacuate again. Now here's a look at other stories making headlines from around the nation this morning. Out in Idaho, just 15 minutes into a championship soccer match, you see it right here, a violent fight breaks out. Some say the riot got started when one player kicked another player in the groin. Three people were stabbed, though, and police are looking for another person caught on tape actually firing a gun. An employee of a marketing company and 20 others are indicted in an alleged scheme to steal prizes in a McDonald's contest. A grand jury in Florida handed down nine counts against the director of Simon Marketing. Prosecutors say that for more than a decade, Jerome ja Jacobson withheld winning pieces for McDonald's Monopoly game and conspired with others to redeem them. A Pennsylvania man accused of stealing dinosaur fossils out in Utah then selling them in Japan says he didn't do it. Barry James says that he brokered the sale of bones, but he has the paperwork to prove that those bones were privately owned and not taken from a desert out in Utah. And this morning, the hunt continues in New Hampshire for an unlikely animal. People say there is a huge monkey on the loose. At least a dozen residents in the town of Danville have spotted the primate. Searchers have set out bait, hoping to attract the monkey, which witnesses believe is a Humboldt woolly, an endangered species from South America. And I looked up as I was walking with my daughter, and. I looked away because I thought, I am just going crazy. <laughs> I really thought so. The, the picture in the paper it just didn't portray it. It just made it really look fierce. Yeah. You know, and you just don't want to, like, cause a hysteria either, thinking that there's this large monkey running around. <laughs> Can you imagine looking out your window? Oh, my goodness, it looks like a huge monkey. It is a huge monkey, too. It's eight feet long from fingertips to tail. Animal control officers think the monkey was somebody's pet but was released after its owner. Couldn't take care of it anymore. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> now, 614, 64 degrees, and Good Morning Washington continues. You want to stick around for headlines, plus your weather and traffic on the sevens. And we want to say happy birthday to Brian De Palma. He turned 61 today. Can't believe Christy McNichols, 39. Oh, we're all getting old, aren't we? <laughs> Moby turns 36. Harry Connick Jr., the guy who wrote the music for When Harry Met Sally and performed it, he turns 34 today. Looking for a real power trip? Chevy's moving the 2001 metal. Chevy trucks offer more SUVs than anyone. 
including the 2001 Chevy Blazer four-door with 3,000 cash back or 0.9% APR. Yeah, big cash back or low APR. We'll give you the power. The question is, are you going to use it? Make your money count now at your local Chevy dealer. Here were five children that needed a chance. They would have become just other statistics on the street. The major thing that apart from just being nurtured and loved was education. Had the vouchers not come along, I'm not sure how I would have been able to make sure that my children got a good education. If you see someone who needs help and you have the means, you help them. There are children in the District of Columbia waiting to be adopted. Most are school age, some are medically challenged, and many are siblings who want to stay together. This is Sharon. She's 13 years old, enjoys computers and singing, and in the future... I want to become an actress. The D.C. Child and Family Services Agency needs loving homes to adopt these special children. If you're interested, at least 21 years old, single, married or divorced, and live in a house or apartment, call 202-671-LOVE. You could make a difference. What makes you smile? Every day at McDonald's, we're serving up a variety of great tastes at breakfast. Whether you like scrambled eggs with pancakes, egg McMuffins, sausage biscuits with egg, or our delicious bagel sandwiches, we've got something hot, fresh, and made to order just for you. And remember, no breakfast is complete without coffee and the cool, fresh-squeezed taste of Minute Maid orange juice. Start off your day, every day, with breakfast variety at McDonald's. We love to see you smile. This looks promising. I didn't even know these homes were here. Get your free copy of New Homes Guide. Call 1-800-999-9947. 617, here's a look at today's top stories on Good Morning Washington. A flight attendant's lawyer says that he may refile his client's complaint that Gary Condit, Congressman Condit, obstructed justice. The California grand jury yesterday rejected the obstruction justice argument on grounds it was in the wrong jurisdiction. Oh, and say it's so. Published reports say Michael Jordan will indeed make another comeback. The Associated Press and reports out of Chicago say he is coming back for the love of the game. Time for weather and traffic. Now, I'm the seventh. What's so amazing is Alexandra's made three comebacks this morning. She's been here, left, come back, and come back. And she gets she better coming. every time. So keep watching because I'll be better in a half an hour. All right, it's very chilly out there. Man, we had some very strong storms yesterday and just locked up all our airports and even into the northeast. So if you got stuck in Washington, didn't plan to be here and be watching Good Morning Washington this morning, welcome. But you'll be able to get out of town today, no problem. All right, so let's start things off. Scan the skies and take a look at live radar. And all is quiet, really virtually not a cloud out there. That front that moved through that did trigger off those storms scoured out the moisture, cleaned and cleared out our skies and this morning really a beautiful starry morning. Heard from a lot of weather watchers seeing Orion out there. Lots of stars as you step out but grab certainly a sweater. It is quite chilly. We do have 64 degrees this morning. It is 61 in Baltimore, 64 east of town in Dover, 57 in Martinsburg, 54 in Luray. But take a look at where we stand this morning compared to yesterday morning. Hot on the heels on the back side of this cold front. We've dropped 11 degrees, 11 degrees chillier this morning in town, close to 20. Take a look at Luray, close to 20 degrees this morning, cooler than yesterday, 15 degrees cooler in Charlottesville. So you get the picture much cooler, less humid than it's been really in quite some time. Satellite and radar composite. There's that cold front that moved through that triggered off those storms and caused all that havoc in the air yesterday. And can you pick out the hurricane? Here it is. It's Hurricane Aaron right now, 800 miles south of Nova Scotia. It's been moving north-northwest, but finally today, actually, with the help of this area of low pressure and cold front, we'll nudge it to the east and push it more north northeasterly so kick it away from the coast so that is the good news but some very strong swells especially from the mid-atlantic off the main coast not the place to be for mariners we could see 20 20 foot waves there express forecast really a beautiful day taking shape mostly sunny 75 at lunchtime expect a comfortable dry afternoon high of 81 no humidity in the air at all tonight another chilly one relatively speaking should be at about 66 in town for this time of year so cooler than that 50s in the suburbs 
suburbs. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, even chillier, 79. The only caveat in this ABC 7-day forecast, the passage of a front on Thursday afternoon, triggering off a shower and thunderstorm. But then on the back side of that front, even colder Canadian air making its way into Washington with highs only in the low to mid-70s to kick off this uh, weekend ahead. Yeah. I've heard that about Canada has that cold air. Oh, yeah, we got it in town this weekend. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head out to the rails. Check in with Vanetta Brooks. Good morning once again, everyone. Well, trains continue to report no delays this morning as train 845 on the Camden line heading on over to Union Station. Look for it to make its final stop this morning by 655. You can also look for train 876 on the Brunswick line as it's scheduled to leave Germantown this morning by 653. And one last check on VRE this morning continues to show no problems on the Manassas and Fredericksburg line. Don, Carol, back to you. Thank you, Vanetta, and have a good morning. Want to hear some good business news? Here goes. Stocks <laughs> overseas rebounded a bit after a significant drop started the week. The Nikkei rose 97 points after reaching a 17-year low on Monday. Yeah, after falling like 300 points. That followed a mixed day on Wall Street that saw the Dow fall 0.34 points and the Nasdaq going up just over 7.5 points. Now, with more money news this morning, here's Derek McGinty. Good morning. Here is this morning's Money Scope report. There is some bad news from a big tire manufacturer. Michelin North America says a downturn in the tire market is forcing it to cut 2,000 jobs, about 7% of its workforce. The cuts are part of a $200 million cost-cutting effort. And the sluggish economy is also causing more trouble in the telecom industry. Quest Communications will eliminate 4,000 jobs from its global staff, about a third of those in the United States. And the Federal Reserve reports consumer borrowing in July was virtually unchanged. This morning, Beth Kobliner, author of Get a Financial Life, told ABC News that's a sign Americans are reluctant to take on new debt in these uncertain times. Well, I think consumers are beginning to worry about the job outlook, and also they're seeing a larger chunk of their income going toward those credit card payments. You know, in 1990, the average household had debt of about $3,000. Today, that average household holds about $8,000 in debt. So we've seen a huge run-up in debt, and people are starting to feel some pain there. Wall Street giant Morgan Stanley is being sued for sex discrimination. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission suit claims as many as 100 women were prevented from advancing to jobs and salaries reached by less productive men. Morgan Stanley denies the allegations. Well, Blockbuster's changing with the times. It's replacing one quarter of its videotapes with DVDs. The cost of the move will reduce Blockbuster's profits by $450 million this year. But in the end, DVD rentals are more profitable, and the slimmer cases will allow the stores to stock more merchandise. Join us on Good Morning America for details on new accusations against GE in connection with a massive dishwasher recall. That's on GMA right after your local news. And that is this morning's Money Scope Report. I'm Derek McGinty. Still ahead on Good Morning Washington, more on Michael Jordan's big announcement. Plus the Redskin quarterback controversy, Monday Night Football, and much more. This morning's Money Scope Report brought to you by Quaker Oatmeal. I eat Quaker oatmeal for 30 days. They tell me it actually works to remove cholesterol from your body. Pulls it right out. Help clip my cholesterol 15 points. That's a whole bunch. Quaker oatmeal warms you heart and soul. I ate Quaker oatmeal for 30 days. It actually works to remove cholesterol from your body. Sucks it right out. Help lower my cholesterol 10 points. That's even more than I bargained for. Quaker oatmeal warms you heart and soul. When I retired from the police force after 17 years, I bought this newsstand. As I'm setting up shop, Ed shows up. He's with Philip Morris, USA. He tells me about the We Card program, about preventing cigarette sales to minors. Philip Morris is committed to keeping kids from smoking. That's why Philip Morris, USA, is a major sponsor of the We Card program. So when a kid tries to buy some smoke, can I hear about cigarettes too? He's not getting past me. Sorry, I can't say the cigarettes, bro. What? Or anyone who works for me. Working to make a difference, the people of Philip Morris. I know this question is kind of a toughie. Oh, friend, we know how to do this one, remember? Disney learning software, like having 35 teachers for every kid. Rated E for everyone. I just knew we could do it. Come right in and tell me how you've been. I 
What's your mystery since you've been gone? More best friends depend on Chevy. Yes, sir, look at swell. We'll be there. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Vioxx, a prescription medicine available from your doctor. Or call 1-877-98-VIOX for information. Vioxx. I was going from job to job, entering funds in a call center to picking up thrift store donations. Think it's impossible to get out of a dead-end job? Call ECPI. Systems Administrator Kevin Clark did. If you're ready to change your life, you know, if, if you're ready to have a sense of accomplishment at the end of every day, then I would recommend going. It exceeded my expectations. I've doubled my salary in less than a year. Change your life. Call ECPI. 1-800-986-1200. We're a leader in training people for high-tech careers. Ask for a brochure. It is now 626, 64 pleasant degrees outside. Here's a look at some stories making news from around our world. Now, this morning, Israeli troops and tanks are shelling the West Bank town of Janine and nearby refugee camp. The action has knocked out electricity. The tension has added uncertainty to whether today's peace talks are still on between Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat and Israeli Foreign Minister Shimon Peres. An American airman charged with raping a Japanese woman in Okinawa, Japan, says the sex was consensual. The trial is now underway for Staff Sergeant Timothy Woodland. The next phase of the trial is set for October 9th. If convicted, Woodland could get two years in prison. Okay, let's talk sports with Michael Jordan. He will hold a press conference in the next nine days to announce if he will make that comeback. The Associated Press is reporting his Aaron has told reporters in Chicago on Monday he will come back and play on the hardwood for the love of the game. The news was perfectly timed, however, for the purchasing of season tickets. 8,000 are still available and you can get yours beginning at 9 o'clock this morning. The number to call 202-661-5050. We will have more local reaction coming up in a live report in just five minutes. And we're still waiting to find out who will be the starting quarterback for the Redskins when they take on the Cardinals Sunday. Yesterday, Marty Schottenheimer said that he was not sure if Jeff George or Tony Banks would get the nod. Schottenheimer says he's not spoken to George since his benching on Sunday. And George didn't talk to the media, as you see right here, yesterday as well. Okay, moving on to Monday Night Football. Denver Broncos played their first game with the new Vesco Field at Mile High Stadium last night with a win, but they lost an important player for the season, Ed McCaffrey will have season-ending surgery after breaking his leg in the third quarter against the New York Giants. He actually got hit up by the head and shoulders, but he broke his leg. The Broncos went on to win that game 31 to 20. Time for weather and traffic now on the 7th. A good morning, 627 under mostly clear skies. Some strong gusty winds will kick up from the northwest this afternoon. Grab a sweater as you walk out. It's about 10 to 15 degrees cooler this morning than yesterday, but really quite pleasant. And that cool air mass will set the stage for a really very pleasant day. Clear, cool, and less humid than days past. 60s this morning, 64 currently in town, as well as west at Dulles. Do have reports of some upper 50s, though. As we head through this afternoon, mostly sunny, dry, pleasant, and plenty of clear blue sky 81 will be the afternoon high temperature i'll take you right through the next seven days one day with rain i'll tell you which day that rain will fall on but first let's talk traffic hey maggie Good morning, Alexandra. Lots of problems over in Virginia. Let me take you there live. Northbound 95 near Springfield. Have a couple of disabled vehicles. First one in Potomac Mills in the center of the roadway. Then once you reach the um, Franconia Springfield Parkway, we have another disabled vehicle. And over here, very slow traffic because we have an accident that sits on the left shoulder as you approach 644. So your backup also begins in Newington. So very heavy volume as you travel northbound 95 this morning. You might want to use Route 1 as your alternate route this morning. Let's go back to you. All right, Mickey. Thank you. Okay, it is now 629. Good morning, Washington. We'll be back in one minute. Here's a look at what's coming up in the next half hour on GMW. New developments in the obstruction of justice charges against California Congressman Gary Condit. Also ahead, we'll show you how D.C. police are making sure they are ready for those big protests later this month. And I'm Nancy Weiner, live at Bob and Edith's in Arlington, where we're talking to basketball fans about their reaction to Michael Jordan's decision to return to the game. Mark, you say? He should stay retired. Everybody's got an opinion. We'll have them for you next. Stop. Don't pay retail for your computer needs. Come to the Market Pro Computer Show and say... In Upper Marlboro and Manassas. 
Computers for under $300. Under $50. Monitors from $39. E-Jet cartridges and software from just $5. Blowout prices on famous brand digital cameras. Cell phones. Books. Games. Furniture and accessories. New, used, or closeout deals. From local, national, and regional dealers. Prices so low, it will blow you away. Saturday at the Showplace Arena in Upper Marlboro. Sunday at the Manassas Fairgrounds in Manassas. Maybe it's the soil. Nope. Gotta keep looking. Maybe the sun. Or just something in the air. Nope. Not here. But things just naturally seem to grow faster in the south. There you are. Lotto South. New from the Virginia Lottery. Current jackpot, $2 million. Whoa, it grows fast. From ABC 7 News, proud to be on your side. Good morning, Washington. Mm, looks very calm at Reagan National this morning. If you are caught in town due to those torrential downpours yesterday, nothing to worry about this morning. Good morning to you, Washington. It is now 6.30 on this Tuesday, September 11th. I'm Carol Costello. And I'm Don Hudson, and it's good to be with you. We want to begin this half hour, of course, talking about the weather. Alexander has all the details over in the forecast center. Yes, I do. Really a very quiet morning compared to yesterday afternoon and evening. The storms are history. In its wake, though, mostly clear skies, low humidity, and very pleasant for your wake up in Washington. Clear skies, certainly less humid than days past. It is 64 in Washington, dropping into the upper 50s now at Dallas, 58 degrees. Here's your express forecast, mostly sunny and very dry, pleasant 75 at lunchtime, and do expect a comfortable 81 this afternoon. In the extended forecast, one day of rain to tell you about. I'll tell you when we'll see it, but first, let's get a check on the roads with Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Good morning, Alexandra. Well, now we have heavy volume there and reported on the outer loop of the Beltway making your way through Silver Spring. Let me take you there live as you leave New Hampshire Avenue making your way around the Georgia Avenue. As you can see here, very heavy volume, no accidents to report, just slow traffic making your way around to Georgia Avenue. Let's go back to you. Mm, I don't know how people do it. All right, Mickey, thank you. Uh, but there is excitement in the air this morning. Say it is so. Reporters in Chicago say it is. They say Michael Jordan will play again for the Washington Wizards on the court, that is, because he loves the game. Officially, he will hold a press conference in nine days to perhaps tell all of us that he will play basketball again. ABC 7 News reporter Nancy Weiner is live in Arlington this morning talking with people about how they feel about Michael Jordan's imminent comeback. Nancy? Carol, this decision is stirring up a lot of excitement, but it's also stirring up a lot of controversy. And as you know, Washington Wizard fans, well, there may certainly be a few more of them this year than there were last year, but there are also some people who say maybe this isn't the best idea. These two guys, Kwanzaa and Neil, have been arguing over this very fact all morning long. Neil says that he should come back. Kwanzaa says he shouldn't. Neil, why do you think he should come back? Well, if he feels that, well, one thing, Mike got a great love of the game. That's the first thing you have to have. Then Mike has the knowledge in his head mm -hmm. to play the game. And Mike also said when they brought him back that if he didn't feel as though he could do the same things that he did, he wouldn't come back. So if Mike feels as though he can come back, I don't see no problem with him coming back. I think he can come and do the same things he did when he was in the game. Those all sound like good reasons. Kwanzaa, if he wants to come back, why shouldn't he? Father time. He's 38 years old. He should slow down. Old. He should retire and retire like a, like a champion that he is. But if he come back, Father Time will show him and the world that he's wrong. Okay. So for sentimental reasons, you say hang up the basketball shoes. Hang them, hang them up and be a champion. Now, there's one guy who agrees with you, Kwanzaa, and that is Mark Reed from Temple Hills. Mark, you said he should stay out. Why? He's going to have to chase guys like Kobe Bryant around. He's 38 years old. He may have the wisdom and the brains to do it, but his body's not as young as it used to be, and Kobe's going to make him pay. Mark, I've heard that opinion this morning, but I do have to tell you there are also a lot of people who are very excited about the possibility of Michael Jordan donning a Washington Wizards uniform. And I can tell you that there are 8,000 season tickets still left to be sold, and there's certain to be a run on them this morning. We'll give you a heads up. Here's the number to call if you would like to get some season tickets. The number is 202-661-5050. 
but that number does not open until 9 o'clock, so you have a few more hours before you dial. Reporting live from Bob and Edith in Arlington, I'm Nancy Weiner, ABC 7 News. Uh, let's talk about age, Nancy. What about Nolan Ryan? He was pretty old before he quit. That's right, and Michael Jordan has said if he doesn't feel good, if he's having problems with his former injuries, he won't do it. But he says right now he feels good, and other players are backing him up on that. And this is not just a cynical move to sell more tickets. No, of course <laughs> not. The timing of this is not uh, coincidental not in any way. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. All right. Moving on this morning, the flight attendants claim that Congressman Gary Conant obstructed justice by trying to get her to sign a false affidavit has been rejected by a grand jury. Amory Smith filed a complaint in Condit's home district after she said the congressman asked her to say that they never had an affair. Smith's lawyer says that the grand jury took no action because it says the complaint was filed in the wrong jurisdiction. So Smith's attorney plans to refile elsewhere. And this morning, the search is on for a man who police say exposed himself to three girls. Police say it happened Saturday at Lee District Park on Telegraph Road in Alexandria. The girls say the man approached them and pulled his pants down. And that's when the 10-year-olds ran away. He's described as a 20-year-old Hispanic man, 6 feet tall, 170 pounds, with black curly hair, brown eyes, and a mustache. Anyone with information should call Alexandria Police. A 12-year-old boy is in critical condition after he was struck by a car in Montgomery County. Now, this happened on Beers Mill Road about 7.30 last night. Police tell us that the boy was trying to cross the road to play some football at a field next to St. Jude's Church. The road was closed while the child was flown to Children's Hospital. Police also say the accident was likely the child's fault. When D.C. police clashed with the demonstrators on Monday, it sure looked like the real thing, but it was only a drill. Yep, they're still practicing. The department's rapid response team practice for potential violence when the World Bank and International Monetary Fund meetings get underway at the end of this month. The protesters were actually police recruits. Officers didn't know they would be participating in the simulation until they were called to report to the police training center. The district is cracking down on illegal parking, but critics claim it's just a means to collect more money. Now, in the early 90s, D.C. made $70 million a year on tickets. That is down to $48 million. But Councilmember Carol Schwartz pushed the bill authorizing a big ticket increase. She says she did it to help people who live in neighborhoods. We don't have garages in the density of this city. Uh, we don't have driveways. So people are dependent upon street parking to be able to park near their homes. Now, the number of ticket riders is increasing from 69 to 109. 247 are authorized for this fiscal year. And at 6.37, it's time to take a look at some of the events scheduled for later today. At 11 o'clock this morning, the Historical Society of Washington breaks ground for the City Museum of Washington. At 4 o'clock, CSX plans to recognize the emergency responders who helped bring the Howard Street Tunnel derailment and fire to a safe conclusion. And at 5 o'clock tonight, the Kennedy Center continues its 30th anniversary celebration by honoring the legacy of President John F. Kennedy with two new exhibits. Time for weather and traffic now on the 7th. A good morning at 637, 59 degrees at Dallas. No 40s abound, but 50s and low 60s, 65 currently in town. Mostly clear skies, much less humid than days past. Hot on the heels of that cold front that moved through today, we're really re reaping the benefits. In the 60s, mostly sunny this morning to start the day. Expect 75 degrees at lunchtime and a comfortable dry 81 this afternoon. I'll have your extended forecast in 10 minutes. One day with rain. I'll tell you which day that is. But first, let's talk traffic. Hey, Mickey. Good morning, Alexandra. Well, traveling on 395, no problems to report all the way down towards the 14th Street Bridge as you make your way over the Potomac and head into downtown. As you can see, a live picture over here. Traffic moves well. Lots of problems, though, on northbound 95. As you leave Woodbridge, making your way towards that Springfield interchange, you might want to use Route 1 as an alternate. Now let me take you live to the Beltway, how we look in Prince George's County near Route 1. Those cars on the left-hand side of your screen are in for a route awakening as they pass Route 1 and approach 95. They're going to be on the brakes all the way around to Georgia. Avenue, but no accidents to report on that stretch of the roadway. 
Carol Vaughn, back to you. It's getting busy out there. Thank you, Mickey. All right, it's now 6.39, 65 degrees. And Good Morning Washington continues. Looking for something different for the kids, maybe for yourself. Up next, we'll be joined by Mike May from the Sporting Goods Association, a little show and tell. Yeah, Mike has brought us things like kick spots and the butt <laughs> butler. Yep, the butt butler. <laughs> also ahead, it's all aboard for another ride. We'll be right back. That's right, I'm back to tell you one last thing. This is still the most valuable card in your wallet because every time you use your bonus card at Giant, you'll save big time on over 5,000 items every week. Free milk. And every time you use your card, you are automatically entered to win a vacation getaway to almost anywhere. It's another proud day for Giant. No matter where you work, no matter what you do, saving for the future could be the most important job you'll ever have. But to do this job right, you'll need to know the facts. You'll need to know what works best for you. And you'll need to know how to keep your savings secure should you change jobs or leave the workforce altogether. So whether you invest in the stock market or simply open an IRA, make saving for the future your number one job, no matter what you do for a living. Learn about savings and protecting your financial future and choose to save. Being in business, I know you've got to have a plan to succeed. That's why, as a candidate for governor, I have offered a detailed action plan for Virginia's future. To improve education and transportation, create jobs, preserve open space and protect our environment. We can do it with more effective management and real fiscal responsibility. To find out more, call or visit our website, because you deserve more than political promises. You deserve a plan and results. And that's what my campaign for governor is all about. Life can be a balancing act. That's why Nestle makes products for the way you live, so you can spend more time enjoying the ones you love. And you'll find all your Nestle favorites at Giant, like Nestle Butterfinger Crunch and Baby Ruth, always a fun snack. Juicy Juice, premium 100% fruit juice. And Stouffer's family-style favorites, nothing comes closer to home. Giant and Nestle help you find more time for the things that matter most. For the way you live, Nestle makes the very best. Welcome back to Good Morning Washington. When it comes to sports, it seems that there's always something new being introduced. Some of it's good, some of it not so impressive. Well, this morning we are taking a look at some of the new products designed to improve your game or your child's game or just, just to have for fun. And joining us this morning is Mike May from the Sporting Goods Manufacturers Association. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, sir. Thank you for bringing all your toys. I You're just, very welcome. Let's start at that end of the table since okay. that's where you have it laid out. That, that shoe right there is not just a shoe. It's called a Healy. It's right. more than a shoe, it's right? It's a, a new type of athletic footwear. The big story is actually in the heel. There's a wheel in the heel. Right. They say it turns a walk to a run to a roll. And so it uh, helps improve your balance so you can get moving along the sidewalk a little bit quicker. Seems like it'd be a little dangerous. Well, it just takes a little bit of practice. A little practice. How yeah. much do those go for? Uh, that's probably in the area of uh, $50 to $60, maybe a little bit less if you find it on sale. I want them to satisfy Carol's curiosity. I know you and I have talked about it, but this right here, it looks like a baseball The butt base. butler. It uh, <laughs> looks like a uh, traditional baseball uh, base, which it could be for a right. game in the backyard. It's also a cushioned seat for tailgating and flip it over. And we have room for food, like nachos, and four drinks. It's called the Butt Butler. It's great for a tailgating party. And now Carol knows. Now That's she knows. Her one. That's the answer to the big question. Some of the bigger things you have here. you got this bat here, which yes. is a combination of uh, aluminum and wood. It's sort of a hybrid. It's called the metal wood bat. It's a, uh, you get the power of metal, and you have the, uh, the exit speed and the traditional crack of the bat of wood. It's Little League approved and now being used across the country. You know, I played baseball this weekend with some of my brothers and college friends. I could have used this. Well, I should have, I should have got a hold of you on Friday. Anyway, moving on down here, yes. something I'm interested in, these uh, Hydrosport uh, wrist water bottles. Now, yes. I've never heard of such a thing. It attaches to your wrist. You can have one for each wrist. It actually holds eight ounces of your favorite thirst-quenching beverage, whether it's Gatorade, Powerade, mm -hmm. or water. And it's great for walkers, runners, or even those who are gardening in the backyard and quick sip. And what are you hearing from people when they fill that up? Is it is it a problem because the extra weight? when they're No, running? not at all. It's actually, uh, 
it's only a few ounces of, and of course you're, you're get rather thirsty, so you drink it before it, uh, it has a way, a way to and weigh the, you down. And these little things here, uh, these multicolored things. Yes, these attach to a soccer cleat. It's called the kick spot, so it helps reinforce where to properly kick the ball, while they're on the instep with a forefoot. And when you kick in the right spot, you get the audio feedback. So use it in practice, reinforce where you need to kick the ball, take it off for the game, and you'll be a better player in the and, game. For and last thing, because we have to wrap up, I'm going to yes. hold this up, this, uh, this tennis racket. It's three. the uh, the triad hammer from Wilson. It's a three-piece racket bonded together by an adhesive. It helps eliminate the, the tension and the vibration from the racket strings when the ball hits it, which reverberates down mm. to the, uh, the handle. Will it make me good enough to beat my wife? possible. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Right. Mike, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming by. Uh, we need to take a break, move on this morning. If you have any uh, questions or comments about this stuff, you can email us at gmw at wjla.com and we'll be right back. Quarterback Brad Johnson for Fitzgerald Auto Mall. If you're shopping online for your next car, fitzmall.com is the only address you need. Visit fitzmall.com to see the MSRP certified factory invoice and discounted internet prices on hundreds of cars and trucks. That's the certified factory invoice and the fish drill price, side by side. You know you're getting the lowest price at fitsmall.com. I'm glad I bought at fish drill auto malls, and you will be too. Shop fitsmall.com and see for yourself. This Saturday night at sneak previews across America. Look in my eyes, tell me what you see. Discover what critics are calling a captivating movie experience. I know certain things, see certain things. Four stars. Anthony Hopkins delivers another wonderful performance. I know your dark secret. From the author of The Green Mile and the director of Shine, Hearts in Atlantis. Rated PG-13. Sneak preview Saturday, September 15th. Starts Friday, September 28th. It's back to school time, and that means time for you to sign up your favorite school for the Safeway Club Card for Education program. Hi, I'm Mike Basir. For years, Safeway and our education program have provided millions of dollars to area schools for equipment and supplies. Once again this year, you can help. Support your area schools by signing up online or at your local Safeway store. And join Safeway's Club Card for Education because Safeway cares. 42 people locked in a room. Next on Dr. Phil's Get Real Challenge. What do you see when you look in the mirror? A disgusting, evil person. Next, Oprah. Catch Oprah today at 4 on ABC7. Then on ABC7 News at 5, an extraordinary story of perseverance. It's the combination of science, medicine, and technology exploding. I hope to win my first gold medal. Her amazing story, tonight on ABC7 News at 5. At 6.47, time to take a look at today's top stories on Good Morning Washington. A flight attendant's lawyer says he may refile his client's complaint that Congressman Gary Condit obstructed justice. California grand jury yesterday rejected the obstruction of justice argument. And published reports say Michael Jordan will make another comeback. He told reporters he's coming back to the love of the game. Time for weather and traffic. Now, I'm the 7th. See, All we, that sporting equipment makes us want to go out and play. But see, we learned this is the shoe Michael will be coming back in with that wheel there, so he will be as fast. <laughs> I think this would be a little small for Michael. <laughs> and, a, and a little heavy, too. Anyway. I thought I'd walk to the wall wearing this thing, but I could barely get it on. It's quite slippery. you got to learn how to... Yeah, it's kind of anyway. cool. Hey, okay, so, you know, we always talk about weather watchers. Just got a call from Charlie Callahan. He's just up from Tennessee, Chucky, Tennessee, visiting his grandchildren in Sterling, Aww. Virginia. Said it's a cold morning. It's 56, and he's heading back there right now because it's too well, cold for him. Welcome to Washington. Yeah, come back thank, again. Yeah, thanks for the call. We really appreciate that. All right, as you head outside, we do have clear conditions, low humidity, very comfortable temperatures, comfortably cool temperatures anyway. But as we scan our skies with radar, you can can see a nice clean sweep from 66 coming in on 270 or 95 up and down the 95 corridor. No problems at all weather wise. And if you are in Washington and didn't mean to be here because maybe your flight got delayed like many did yesterday afternoon, no problems with any of the flights at all. Just smooth sailing, crystal clear skies and barely even a cloud out there. 65 is the current temperature in town, 55 in Martinsburg, Luray at 54. But 24 hours ago, this is the 24 hour temperature change map. We're 11 degrees chillier this morning at this hour than yesterday. And take a look at Luray, almost 20 degrees 
chillier this morning, so noticeably cooler. Here's the satellite and radar composite. Here was the front that moved through. We are on the upside of it now. We saw some very strong storms yesterday, but now cool and brisk northwesterly winds bringing in some very comfortable air. Can you pick out the hurricane? Here's Hurricane Aaron. It's about 800 miles south of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. It's moving at about 12 miles per hour northwest, but with the passage of this front, it's going to help to kick it out further northeast and kind of direct it and give it a more northeasterly jog, getting it away from the mainland. So here's a look at the forecast as we head throughout this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, 75 at lunch, a comfortable dry 81 this afternoon. Just slightly cooler than where we should be and another clear, cool night. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 79. The only little caveat in this ABC 7-day forecast, another front rolls through Thursday afternoon, triggers off a shower or a thunderstorm, and behind it, even cooler Canadian air filters down into the mid-Atlantic and Washington and only in the low to mid 70s for highs on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, I like that kind of weather. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I have a question for Mickey Scarlana this morning. We yeah. sent Maggie, our weather producer, to Starbucks. Do you see her anywhere on your traffic <laughs> map? Oh, she's there. Is oh, she? I'm I'm back. Back. She's back in the weather center. She said the Starbucks wasn't open for some reason. Millions of people were waiting, but what? never opened. What? I thought they had a 6 o'clock It's a tragedy. Time. Real tragedy, well, Mickey. Well, there's no coffee in the house here, so that is a problem. That oh, is the problem. Man. She's missing in action. There's, oh, there's Maggie. Maggie. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Last time we said Maggie. <laughs> yeah. All right. No coffee. Oh, no. Okay, what a Mickey, take it away. <laughs> Good morning, Washington. This live Metro traffic report is brought to you by your Washington area Dodge dealers. Let me take you to northbound 95. We have lots of heavy volume over there, a couple of disabled vehicles, and an accident to report. That accident has been pushed over to the left shoulder at 644, but your backup begins over in Woodbridge, so very slow goings on northbound 95. Now let me take you live to the inner loop of the Beltway near St. Barnabas Road, making your way towards the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Not too bad over here. We do have an overturned tractor trailer in Columbia, Route 75, west of Tamar Drive. Let's go back to you. All right, Mickey, thank you very much. Okay, it's now 651, 64 degrees. Coming up next on Good Morning Washington, fall in, a new museum is coming to our area. And we're rolling down the river, or at least the canal once again. We'll explain. Is that great? Close. Maybe a little bigger here. My dad. Yep, exactly. Okay, people. This is what we're looking for. We'll find it, man. I just turned around for a second. Order Cox Cable and get installed for only $4.95 and get HBO and Cinemax for $13.99. Call today. Hold on. They're coming in an all-new live adventure. Disney on Ice presents Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2. Now's your chance to see Buzz. To infinity and beyond. Woody. Ride like the wind, Bullseye. And Jesse. <laughs> Live in your hometown in their rootinest, tootinest adventure ever. But hurry, they can't stay long. Round up your tickets today. Playing MCI Center October 10th through 14th. Buy your tickets today. Why drive all over town to compare cars? Make one stop at CarMax and test drive an Accord, Taurus, and Camry. We have nearly every make and model, 10 times more cars than the average dealer, so you get the car you want. CarMax, the way car buying should be. Why do warehouse clubs and superstores offer the lowest prices? Because they sell in volume. CarMax, the auto superstore, has up to 10 times more cars than the average dealer, so we can afford to offer below blue book prices. CarMax, the way car buying should be. Diamonds, the jewelry factory is a direct diamond importer. The Jewelry Factory has thousands of diamonds, most with GIA or EGL certs, laser inscribed and guaranteed the lowest price. One carat solitaires are $5.99, one carat studs $3.99. The Jewelry Factory has thousands of rings, pendants, earrings and bracelets and specializes in platinum and invisible settings. Only the Jewelry Factory gives you a low price and double value guarantee. Buy Factory Direct, the Jewelry Factory in Bethesda. Good things are... Turning out to be quite a beautiful morning in our area as we take a live look at the Jefferson Memorial with Reagan National in the background. 65 degrees at 6.53 this morning. 
Congressional sources say the Pentagon has picked Fort Belvoir as the site for a National Army Museum. The facility will reportedly sit on 30 acres along Route 1 in southern Fairfax County. It's expected to attract up to one million visitors every year. Uniforms, flags and documents from the Revolutionary War to the Balkans will be at that museum. And more than a month after a massive storm led to flooding and damage, the canal boat rides on the CNO Canal are about to resume. Starting September 27, the rides will operate on a fall schedule. The flooding sent so much water into the canal that the banks were eroded and the main sewer line was undermined. It's now 6.54. Good morning, Washington. We'll be right back with your weather and traffic on the 7s. Plus, this new museum might not appeal to everyone's taste buds. That story's next. ABC 7 News, brought to you in part by Nature Conservancy. While progress should never come to a halt, there are many places it should never come to at all. So we work locally with communities, businesses, and people like you to save precious places around the world forever. I'm Paul Newman. Help the Nature Conservancy save the last great places. Sorry about that. I'm mistake. Sorry. Volkswagen Passat. It only looks like a million bucks. November 29, 1999. Helms Biden becomes law, promising the UN America's overdue bills will be paid if the UN makes changes. It does that and more, even naming an inspector general to cut waste. But we don't pay. Then the Senate votes to pay the bill, and the House too. Now, two years after Helms Biden, congressional gridlock still stops payment. Before President Bush makes his first speech at the U.N., Congress should honor our commitment and pay the U.N. bill. Great nations keep their word. Hi, I'm Brian Johnson with the Maryland Lottery. The topic of today is winners. We have lots of them. And then when you finally got the check, how you We finally feel? got the check. It was very nice. Very, very, it was like... Did it put a big smile on your face? Yes, it did. It was like, let's go to the bank right now. <laughs> You know, let's take it there first and, and make sure it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're still not believing it. <laughs> no, I still sometimes kind of sit back and think, is it really true? And it is. It is. Good. It's now 6.57. Cardiologists cringe when they hear the name spam, but there are some people in Minnesota that smile and smack their lips at that word. <laughs> and those folks are dedicating a museum to the canned pork product. That's right, a museum is going to feature a variety of media exhibits. It'll even uh, test your knowledge about spam with a quiz. And they'll even play video games featuring spam-tastic fun. Time for weather and traffic now on the 7th. Good morning, everybody. Well, we have a serious crash in Laurel if you travel Route 1 at Conte Road. Serious accident over there, very heavy volume of traffic. Now let me take you live to the Beltway near Route 50. Not too bad over here. All your lanes are open. Also still dealing with slow traffic inbound Route 4 after Dower House Road. We did have an accident on the left shoulder. Your delays begin at Woodyard Road. But over here at the Beltway in Prince George's County, not too bad. I just want to remind you for traffic information throughout the day, check out the website at WJLA.com. Back to you. Keyword weather. <laughs> no, All no right. traffic. No keyword weather. <laughs> all right, a beautiful day, actually. Those storms are all history. Mostly clear, less humid, and really comfortable this morning in the 50s and 60s. Expect a mostly sunny afternoon with a high of 81. What you got there? I just was sitting on a butt bubble trying it out, so it worked out pretty well. You're crazy. <laughs> we'll see you again at 722. We'll When you see news break, dial pound ABC7 on your Verizon mobile phone. That's pound 2227. It's a free call to the ABC7 News hotline. Why do the four giant bell phone monopolies want toes and dingles so badly? How about this? Section 4A states, neither the FCC nor any state shall have authority to regulate the rates, charges, terms, or conditions for any high-speed data service. 
Toes and Dingle will turn the four bell giants loose on America and then prohibit the FCC and all 50 states from protecting us. So, this is why our parents told us to read the fine print. Would you rather have your car or a cleaner environment? A cleaner environment. You'd rather have a, a cleaner environment than a car? Come on, Trish. <laughs> we are married. No, no. It's hard to believe, but she we She wouldn't are... rather have a yes, cleaner environment than a car. Yes, I would. Than a car. Yes, I would. I don't believe you. Sorry, it's true. How much of it? I, I would, in what degree would I you? I wouldn't would want to be, be without a car. I love having a car, but if I, if I had to choose between that and a clean environment, of course I'd. Then why don't you give up a car? Because I haven't been asked to yet. <laughs> yeah, we never talk politics anymore. Kathleen Matthews and the ABC7 News Team, proud to be on your side.